Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be taking you with me as I decorate my house for Easter. So I am just going to be focusing on the breakfast nook right here in the family room. I'm pretty sure that's all I will be decorating today, but I'm also going to start with a DIY. So if you were here for my Christmas decorate with me video, I made a ginormous sign that went on my mantle and it was sheet music. It looked like a really rustic gold piece of sheet music, but it was like two feet by three feet. So it's pretty big. I'm basically going to recreate that sign. And the cool thing is I just flipped it around and I'm going to glue the sheet of music on the backside of my Christmas one. So now it will be two-sided and when Christmas comes, I can just flip it around and use that side again. So we're going to start with that and then we will move on to decorating the house. For this project, I ordered a print from Office Max website as a blueprint. Ordering it this way will only cost you around $3 for this size, but I will have the exact instructions below in the description box on how to order this correctly and where I found my music. You're just going to spread a layer of Mod Podge all over the entire piece of MDF board, and then you'll apply your sheet of music. I did have to trim mine a little bit to fit, so be sure you do that step beforehand. When you're applying the paper, it's okay if it goes on wrinkly. In fact, I love the imperfect look of having wrinkles and creases all over the page. Just make sure the edges are stuck down really well so the paper doesn't lift. The next step is to tea stain. I have black tea bags soaking in warm water and then I will pull them out and spot them all over the paper, then immediately go over it with a dry rag. So continue this step until you like the look of your paper. For me personally, I really wanted this to look old and vintage. So I basically drenched the entire thing in tea and then of course dabbed the excess water off while I was going. Once it's all the way dry, you can coat it again with Mod Podge and this will make it last forever. The first corner I'll be decorating is the breakfast nook and I just realized last year I did not have this spot during spring. So this is my first time styling this corner for the season. I'll be sure to link any decor in the description box or let you know where things are from. I also apologize for how dark it is over here. I didn't realize how cloudy it was until I was done filming, but we kept having clouds coming and going the whole time I filmed. So there will be random spots of sunshine and then it's dark again. I know I'll get questions on this bunny frame. I ordered this in January or February from Amazon. I'll try to find a link for you guys, but I am obsessed with it. This is definitely my favorite Easter decor find this year. So you're probably surprised that I found it on Amazon. And I don't know why it has such bad reviews. I think it had like one or two stars. I think people who bought this thought it was an actual like 3D frame where there's not a frame around it, but it looks like it's framed. But anyway, I love how it looks and I thought it was super affordable. You'll see at the end, I kind of rearrange things a little bit. So typically I will start styling things and then I stand back. And if I don't like how it's looking, I'll go and tweak a few things. So the final shot always looks a little bit different than what I showed you as I was decorating. Something I do when I am decorating any place in my house, if I don't like how it's looking, I will usually step back, take a picture, and then I'll look at the picture. I know that sounds so weird. Like why can you not figure out what the problem is looking right at it? But for some reason, if I'm looking at a picture, I can pinpoint exactly what's missing or what's wrong. 
So when I did that here, I realized that when I styled these shelves, I only did the ends. I didn't do anything in the center and it made it look really weird. So usually when I'm styling shelves, I will kind of do like a zigzag pattern. So if I'm styling the top shelf, I'll do like the center and then the shelf below, I will do either side and then leave the center open. So that's a little tip with styling shelves. I actually think I should do a full video on styling shelves. That might be super helpful for some people that might not just naturally have an eye for that, but could learn some techniques of how to do that. So I'm thinking about doing a video like that soon. But anyway, if you've ever noticed when I'm decorating and then I show the after shot, you're like, that's not what you did. It looks very different. That's usually why. When I step back, I realize, oh yeah, that doesn't look good. And I gotta add a few things here or there.